Hi, my name is Daniela. And my name is Anna, and we are the transport department here at the HQ of STS in Gothenburg. So we are the ones booking your flights. Going abroad can be nerve-wracking and you have this huge adventure in front of you. Of course we try to have all our students travelling with somebody else but we can't always promise this. But see it this way, you have a huge adventure in front of you with loads of challenges and see this as your first challenge and I promise you, once you've done it once, it won't feel as scary anymore. It is easy to track other SDS students as you need to wear your SDS t-shirt and backpack. This is also so we can easily recognize you when you arrive at the airport. 20 Ks is always included in the program fee. However, if you want to add some special luggage or extra luggage, you can log into the airline's website under Manage My Booking. This is also where you can see specifically how much you can bring to the airport. You can also pay at the counter, but this is normally more expensive. If you're traveling on a domestic flight in the US or Canada, you need to pay for your luggage at the counter. However, you can get this reimbursed by your STS local office by bringing the receipts. We recommend to always keep a close track of your flights on the airline's website. All airlines has a Manage My Booking tab where you can add emails and change things like seat, meal, etc. Before departure, please log in on the airline's website to see if the flight time has changed. This is really important since it is the student's responsibility. Bring your passport and visa in your hand luggage together with some extra cash if you need to buy unexpected things. Also, print out the contact information for your host family and welcome cap. And of course, don't forget your mobile charger. What you can bring when it comes to liquids is not more than 10 times 100 milliliters per container and this has to be put in a transparent plastic bag. And remember that it's not allowed to carry any knives, nail scissors, nail files, or sharp utilities in your cabin luggage. Please check the latest news on the airline's webpage. When you travel on a student visa, sometimes it's not possible to check in online. Therefore, it's super important that you're in time to the airport. I would say about three hours to make sure. This is the same if you're going to the US and you're gonna need APIs, which is Advanced Passenger Information. Sometimes you can't do that on the airline's website and then you need that extra time at the airport. And don't you worry, all the information that we're giving you right now, you will receive in your flight letter, together with loads of more tips from the transport department. Depending on how far you would travel, checking counters normally opens two hours before departure. However, as I told you before, if you're traveling far, we would still recommend three hours to make sure. After you're shipping your luggage, you're going to security. And it's also here where you find the huge lines normally and the plastic bags to put your liquids in. Once you've gone through security, you will see a big screen with all the planes. So please have a look at your ticket to see where you, your gate is. If you're transiting and you're doing it on a big airport, you might need to go by train to another terminal or by bus, or maybe even go by train within the same terminal, as for example, at Heathrow. However, sometimes it can feel quite insecure to know how you do this type of transits. So you can always ask someone at the airport. However, I would actually recommend going into the airport's website to have a look at the maps, just to feel a bit more secure. Tips! If you're early through security and you already see that your gate appeared on the big board, I would recommend walking to your gate to see how long it will take before you start doing your shopping. If you miss your flight, you need to book a complete new ticket. 
And it is important to book the return ticket as well, because if you miss your outbound flight, the return becomes cancelled as well. If your flight ticket includes more than one flight and you miss your connecting flight during transit, you need to go to the airline's help desk and they will help you rebook to a later flight. Here, it is also the airline's responsibility to assist you. If a flight gets cancelled or if there is a huge delay, you need to go directly to the airline's help desk. They should assist you with booking a new flight, meal vouchers and a hotel stay if necessary. It is also directly on the airline webpage where you can claim compensation for delays. STS does not do this, so you have to do it by yourself. Important! When there is a change to your flight, it's really important that you contact the person who's supposed to meet you at the airport. Depending on where you're going, it could be the welcome camp staff, the local coordinator or the host family. So it is important that you bring their contact information in your hand luggage. If you want to request a NATO return date, this is generally possible, but it will include a fee. And the fee will differ depending on which airline, which airport and which day you want to go home. I would say if you're requesting a weekday or a public holiday, it's going to be more expensive. Depending on when you got placed, you might receive a ticket that has a return date in February or March even though you're going to stay longer. But don't you worry, this is only because you got placed early, which meant we couldn't book your correct return date. However, SCS will change this free of charge. Some of you that got placed later, you will receive the return ticket that is correct from the beginning. And with that, we would like to wish you a pleasant flight and journey. Goodbye!